Hey guys, so this is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. I found some newer items at my local Dollar Tree and I'm going to be going to the Dollar Trees in the surrounding area to see if I can't find some more items on my hunt list. So I'm just going to get started. The first item that I have to show you guys is this oven mitt. As you can see, it's got the bright turquoise. It says Faith, Family, and Friends. And I don't do turquoise in my house. The main colors in my house are gray and black. And then I have lots of gold and white as well, like in the kitchen and stuff. But I don't mind picking up different colors in just like towels or pot holders. So I picked this up. And this little set just got unloaded at my local Dollar Tree about three days ago. So who knows, it could have been in the back for a lot longer, but that's just when it got brought out. So I picked up the matching towel, and the towel is 100% polyester. I've told you guys before that I'm not in love with these towels when it comes to drying because they really don't absorb all that well. Well, really at all for me, but I don't mind picking them up for decorative purposes. And then the oven mitts and the pot holders are 100% cotton on the front and the back is 100% polyester. So you want to be careful when you're washing and drying them because obviously the front is going to shrink because it's cotton, but the back is not going to shrink really at all because it's polyester. I also picked up the two pack of the pot holders, so the exact same thing. The back of these are just solid turquoise color. And then where they had these set out, they had these really pretty placemats in turquoise. And I only picked up one of these because, like I said, I don't do turquoise in my house. But I thought just for my coffee station, I could use this because I do alternate the placemats at my coffee station. So the front of it has this white print on it, and then the back of it, <clears throat> excuse me, is this solid turquoise color. If you're into turquoise, right now is definitely the time to start hunting for this stuff at your local Dollar Tree because they have a lot of turquoise stuff out right now. They have all of this stuff. They have lots of really pretty turquoise dishes, wine glasses. They even came out with the little storage bins that have the fabric on them in the different sizes, they came out with those in turquoise as well. It's like a really bright, pretty turquoise. And I noticed that those are almost impossible to get because they go super fast. So then also, next to this set, they had these gray placemats. They didn't have, at least not yet or not at my Dollar Tree, they didn't have um, this print in gray, but they did have these gray placemats. And like I said, I do a lot of gray and black, so I went ahead and picked up all four of these placemats. I think a dollar for these is a really good deal. They seem like um, a really nice quality of fabric. The back is solid gray, and then you can see the white print. So there's all four of those. I'm not going to take them all apart. I'm very tempted to get these glasses they have them in like the turquoise color but then they also have them in like the bottom is black and it fades up to like a charcoal gray it's like an ombre effect I'm very tempted to get that set of glasses and get rid of a bunch of my mugs that you know are just older so the next item that I have to show you guys is one of their framed art pictures and you guys know I have tons of these that I have even yet to hang up but this one I could just not pass on. It's so cute. It says a little mermaid sleeps here and it's got her um, tail and it's got the stars and I don't think the frame is bad at all. So I picked that up. They have like an entire beach theme of these framed art pictures. They have ones with seashells, different beach sayings and quotes on them. Just really cute if you're doing any type of um, beach decor. I picked up one of these 5x7 frames. I thought this was really pretty considering it's from the Dollar Tree. I mean, if you pick it up, it's really light. It doesn't feel like um, really heavy. But when you look at it, I don't think you can tell it's from the Dollar Tree. And they had these items in the different colors. And this is a gold one. I have these in gold and silver. And then they had these in gold and silver a while back. And I thought maybe... If you were to put this out with some of this stuff next to it, I think the silver would probably look better than the gold. 
um, but maybe not right next to each other because they're not identical, but I just thought that would look really nice. So I had candles in these, but I just brought them out of my beauty room to show them to you guys. And then also, um, I had just showed you guys all of the turquoise stuff. I had showed you guys these candles. This would look really nice um, with the turquoise oven mitts, the towels, the placemats. If you were to give give it away like in a gift set or something, this candle would be perfect, um, like I said, as a gift. There was also this one and then the red one, but I already showed those to you guys. I picked up this sticker set. I thought this was really cute. This is in the Jot brand, and you get 20 of the puffy metallic stickers, and they had different sets in the metallic puffy. They had, like, robots, I think, or dinosaurs. They had little owlies. They had butterflies, and I couldn't remember if this was a set that they had out a couple years ago or if this was brand new. It looks familiar to me, so I got those. I know there's, like, a major glare on those. Then I had seen on someone's Instagram, I don't remember who it was, um, I think two different people had posted these wall decals, and I'm always looking for new wall decals at the Dollar Tree, and this one was just way too cute to pass up. I was like, I'm going to go on a mad hunt for that wall decal, and surprisingly I found it like rather quickly at my local Dollar Tree, so I was really happy. I picked up two of them. And it's got a little example of how you could um, display it on your wall or whatever you're going to do with it. And then here's the back. It says, you're never too little to dream. And then there's the big on the other side. And someone had said that this was a pug, but I think this is a, a French bulldog or a French something. It's one of the dogs that I really want to get, but they're super expensive. So I picked those up. I picked up another set of these rags. I really like this print from the Dollar Tree because it matches my house. It's got the gray and black. And I had already showed you guys this entire set. The pot holders, um, or the oven mitt, the pot holders, the rag, the towel. Yeah, I did get the towels. And then I was never able to find the placemats. And I did find the placemats this time, but I didn't want... Um, four of these placemats for my table. I like it, but not enough to have it as an entire set. So once again, I will alternate this at my coffee station because I'm really loving the gray and black. I picked up one more pack of these Jot Magnetic um, list pads. It's got the donuts on it, and you get 60 of the sheets, and then there's the magnet on the back. I picked up one of these gift bags, and it says Gone Fishing, and then it's got the lure or hook as the gift tag, and this is going to be for Robert's dad for Father's Day, and this was the last one at my local Dollar Tree, but I know they've brought these out like twice, I think, so we could be getting more of these. They had a couple other fishing ones, but I liked this one best. I also, I don't know if I already showed you guys the fishing sign. But the fishing sign is going to go in that gift bag as well. I picked up both of these gift bags, which I posted on Instagram. I thought this gift bag was super adorable. It's got the little hedgehog, and he's holding the flowers. It says, for you, and it's got the little bumblebee. And these are rather large gift bags. And then this one, of course, was also super adorable with the little foxy. And he's on the gift bag with his little birthday hat. So I got both of those. And of course the stuff that I'm going to show you next is way down on my couch. So one second. Okay, sorry about that you guys. Whenever you see it glitch out like that, it's because I paused the video. I had to actually get up to reach these socks. So they've come out with lots of different cute socks at the Dollar Tree recently. But what I'm noticing is... They're either only in kid size or they bring them out in the women's and they're only in the 6 to 11. So I'm guessing or hoping at least that they have these exact socks in the back in the 9 to 11. So I'm going to try on one of these. These are the fashion knee high socks and I love the knee high socks, but I kind of think, or wait, this is 6 to 11. Did they change it to where it used to be um, like 6 to 8 and then... 9 to 10 and then 11 to 12 did they just change it I'm not sure but 
if they happen to come out with these in the 9 to 10, then I will exchange these. I thought these were really cute. There was one print that I passed up on in the knee highs, and I think it had, like, hearts and, like, hot pink. So this one has the rainbows. This one's my favorite, and it's got the raindrops. This one has the owlies and the hearts. And then this one is my second favorite. It's black, and it's got the strawberries and the hearts. And the heel and toe on these is in the bubblegum pink. The heel and toe on the alley socks is yellow. And then this one is in a hot pink. So definitely could not pass on those cuties. So I got those. What else do I have to show you guys? Let me pull this up here. I picked up another pack of the Suavitel dryer sheets. You guys know I purchase these all the time. You get 20 of the different sheets, and they also carry these in the yellow box at Dollar Tree. These were from, I want to say, like maybe over a year ago. You guys know I'm so bad with time. I could be completely off, but I was able to find like one or two of the items when these first came out. And I'm guessing that maybe this box of stuff was in our freight room for a really long time because we have so much stuff back there that there's stuff that's buried that's probably just been sitting there. They're constantly bringing stuff out, but when you're constantly getting new stuff, the stuff that's in the bottom is, you know, it's hard to get to. So I'm guessing this has been there for a while, but they put the entire display out. And of course, I had to take advantage because I was able to pick and choose from everything that was in the display. So the first item that I got was the pressed powder. And as you can see, that's way too dark for me, but I'm just going to use this as a bronzer. This is in the color oat. It says beauty benefits and... If I'm not mistaken, I believe Beauty Benefits is by Wet n Wild. So, in the Oat Total Coverage Pressed Powder. Then I got the Silky Blush. I got the Punch in this really pretty color. And the pressed powder is 0.28 ounces. And both of these blushes are 0.21 ounces. So, there's the Punch. Here is the Bubblegum, which I really love this color. There's a similar color in... The Maybelline, it's the Mineral Loose um, Powder Blush, and it's super pretty, and it's in a color like this. Um, they also had a color in the blushes. I think it was called Flamingo. I picked up the liquid eyeliner, and by the time I got to the display, um, there was only two of these liquid eyeliners left. And the formula is okay, because as you can see, I opened it and I tried it. But I am not loving the tip. If the tip on a liquid eyeliner isn't just so, then I won't be able to use it. And I've used pencil eyeliners for the longest time. I mean, I've used liquid before, but I just made the transition to where now I'm starting to do um, the liquid with the felt tips like every day. I picked up this pack of the uh, basic solutions. I was going to say draw. Basic Solution Claw Clips. I've actually purchased this exact pack a couple years ago. It's got the pretty flowers on it. And I wear my hair up to work because it's just too hot there. So I needed new ones of those. I also got the mascara in this Beauty Benefits brand. And I have to say that I really like this mascara, you guys. It is 0.27 ounces. And then the liquid eyeliner is 0.15 I actually just grabbed this out. I was doing my makeup. I was in a rush for work, and my Clinique one is getting kind of low. And you know when it starts getting, like, old or low, it starts making you have, like, tarantula eyelashes, and they stick together, and it just takes forever. And when you're in a hurry, you don't want to have to separate your lashes and all that. So I just grabbed this, and I did not have high hopes for it at all, but I actually really like it. It's really wet, so to some people, they probably don't like that, but I like it because it gives you a chance to kind of shape your lashes the way you want them, and it doesn't dry super fast to where you're stuck with it. So I think I'm going to purchase like one or two more of these if they even have any left, and those are both in black. Then I think that's everything. I thought I got an actual bronzer, but I don't see it. Maybe it's in another bag. I had to pick up another one of my Salon Selectives 
argon oil hair treatment and I just use this as a regular conditioner it's actually used as or intended to be like a hair mask and I don't wash my hair every day but when I do I use this it is five ounces so it's not a lot but it's um, a nice consistency and it smells really super good I've been using this for like many years even before it got super popular because people really started buying it once they realized how nice it was I needed a new toothbrush, so I just picked up this Reach in the Crystal Clean. This is the medium. I don't like toothbrushes that are just soft. I actually like hard, but those are hard to come by now, so no pun intended. But um, I picked that up. I know they have the multiple packs, but those are kind of hard to get in the medium. I picked up this cute little sticker notepad. You get a hundred of them. And this one is in like the shape of a page flag. It says stop wishing, start doing. And they had, I think, four different sets of these. I picked up this pack of the women's socks. And see, here's the size that I'm talking about, the 9 to 11. And I actually like these socks because when I get the ankle socks at Dollar Tree, sometimes they're really thin to where when you put them on you can kind of see through them a little bit these ones feel really nice and stretchy they feel like um just like more durable so this one has the blue on the top this one has the pink and then then oh my gosh and then then and then this one has the lime green so i got that i picked up these kiss gel strong nail polishes and I only picked up four different ones in these because I have so many different nail polishes you guys and I mainly only use them on my toes because I always have acrylics on so I picked up the hot pink perfect for summer I actually have that on my toes right now I picked up the classic kind of Corvette red I picked up this burgundy brick color and then of course I had to get the clear I like to do a clear coat on my acrylics like once a week because it keeps them nice and shiny so the clear just says top coat on the back the burgundy brick red says vampire I think that's very fitting the red is fatal lure and then the pink is in the pretty woman which I think is a cute name I picked up Another box of the Assured Ibuprofen. I won't go to CVS, Target, or Walmart and get Ibuprofen unless, like, we really need it and, you know, I, it's like a convenience thing and I'm already there. I don't see the point in purchasing the more expensive when you can get, normally it's 40 but this is even a bonus box, so you're getting 50 of the Ibuprofens for a dollar. That's just a great deal. What else is down here? Okay, I picked up these pink Himalayan salts, and they had these in... Let me grab the other one, you guys. Where is it? Okay, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Well, here it is. I picked up two of these, and they had these in the smaller sizes for a while, and I noticed a customer brought this huge one through my line, and I was like, dang, I didn't even know we had those. So, of course, I had to pick them up. I thought I got three, but I guess I only got two. It's the Himalayan Pink Salt. It's got the grinder on top, and it is 13.4 ounces. And the lady that bought it told me she gets almost this exact same size at Costco, and she says it runs her like almost eight bucks. She said that her and her family switched completely from regular salt to the pink Himalayan because it's a lot healthier for you. She also says that she uses it to tenderize her meat. So I thought, you know what, I'll go ahead and give it a try. I picked up this pack of the aluminum foil. It's 25 square feet. Yes, it's already opened. They do have the actual Reynolds Wrap brand there, but I think it's only like 18 square feet. I won't get the package that has, it's like 50 square feet or something like that, because that aluminum foil is really chintzy and super thin, but this one, it's in the middle, and it's not bad, and you get more of it. I went ahead and picked up another one of the Butcher Boy coconut oil. It says 100% pure refined coconut oil, 
women owned, and it's 7.25 ounces. I know it's really small, but it's only a dollar, and I've already showed this to you guys like two other times before, but I honestly don't know if this is something they're going to continue to get, so I took advantage and got another one. I picked up three more of these Dove Men Care Bar Soaps, and I had already shown showed these to you guys as well. And I don't use men's body wash or men's soap, but I went ahead and gave it a try one day, just this bar soap, to see if it was something that I would continue to purchase for Robert and Jordan. And it smells really good, like a nice cologne, and it's also not super drying to your skin. It's very moisturizing, and it's got a really good smell. And if you add up the price that it costs to buy um, this soap in a bigger packet like Target, it's a better deal buying it at Dollar Tree. So as long as they have them there, I will continue to pick up a couple every time I go. I picked them up this White Rain um, Odor Defense Body Wash. This is in the Fresh. They have, I think, three different scents for men. It's the Energizing Body Wash. It's the G-Factor, so it's got the Ginseng and Guarana. Guarana, I don't know how to pronounce that. Invigorate your body, stimulate your skin, and it's paraben-free. This is 11.2 ounces. It smells really good, and it's decent if you put it on like a loofah. Then I picked up two of these hand soaps. Where is it? Nothing special. It's just the milk and golden honey. And they do get this... Um, scent there but it's always in a smaller size this one has the yellow top on it this is 7.5 ounces so I went ahead and picked up two of those while they had that size and that scent I think that one's moisturizing I go in between soft soap dial and bath and body works once in a blue moon I will get random brands at Ross but not too often I picked up a couple of the Nestle coffee mate original powdered creamers. These are six ounces, and I don't remember if it's three or four that you have to buy to make it a better deal at the Dollar Tree, but I calculated the ounces and the price, and it's a better deal, like I said, if you get three or four of these. The liquid is a better buy at like Walmart in um, the bigger size, but the powder is not. I picked up a secret deodorant in the Shower Fresh. This is 1.7 ounces. I go in between the secret and the Lady Speed Stick. I picked up these french fries. And these are the shoestring french fries. I actually like the french fries that have like the little zigzags in them. But those run out really quickly at my local Dollar Tree. This is one pound and four ounces. Sometimes for dinner, just for a quick dinner, we'll do like french fries, tater tots, and macaroni and cheese or something like that. So I got that. I picked up two boxes of the Fisher Boy fish sticks. You only get 12, so two boxes, obviously 24. It's six ounces. I've never tried this brand or these fish sticks, but I thought we would go ahead and give them a try. We'll just do fish sticks, french fries, and then like macaroni and cheese, like I said. And then I wanted to tell you guys about this corn. I don't know if it's the way I prepared it or if it's just the fact that it's already like pre-done and so it's sitting in the liquid for so long. This is a good brand, So Natural, and they had these at Dollar Tree. I think I got a couple of these about a week ago or so. Well, we barbecued for Memorial Day, and I decided to go ahead and give these a go, and no one liked them. So, I don't know. A lady came through my line after I had already tried them, and I tried to warn her against them, but she said she was going to try to put them on the barbecue and see if they were good that way. So I thought, you know what, with the ones I have left, maybe we could try to put them on the grill. That's what Jordan suggested to begin with, but I had already had dinner done, and he was done grilling, and... We didn't want to wait, so like I said, with the ones we have left, we'll go ahead and give them a try on the grill, but for the most part, those were a thumbs down for me. I picked up a couple more of the liquid coffee mate in the vanilla, and then I also got a couple in the hazelnut. This is eight ounces each, and like I said, I think it's a better buy if you're getting 
the larger liquid in this brand at like Walmart or something like that. But it was a convenience thing and I was almost all the way out of my liquid hazelnut. So I picked those up. I picked up these barbecuing, um, <clears throat> where's the other one? Okay, I got this. It's a tong and a tong turner. So it's got the tong on this side and then it's got the spatula. And I had a really nice set. I don't even remember. I think I got them from 99 cent only. We ended up tossing them, and then when we barbecued on Memorial Day, we didn't have anything. Jordan was out there with, like, one of those large serving forks, and, you know, the girl gets really hot, so I had to pick something up just until I can find a nicer set, and this spatula is actually not bad, you guys. It's pretty heavy duty. This is in the Cooking Concepts brand. It says Deluxe Barbecue Spatula, and then I thought this was pretty neat because... Um, as you can see, it's got the spatula and the tongs, so you could put this under the um, burger and then also, you know, squeeze it and flip it over with no problem. So, they had a couple other items as far as barbecuing utensils go, but those were the main ones that we needed. So, I think that's everything that I wanted to show you from Dollar Tree. Oh, I had these oatmeal as well. This is in the Village Farm brand. I love this oatmeal. I think it compares to the Quaker Oat brand um, just fine. This is the cream variety pack. You get three peaches and cream, three strawberries and cream, and then this is also a variety pack. You get two cinnamon and spice, two apples and cinnamon, and then two maple and brown sugar. 8.75 ounces for this pack and then this one is 7.4 ounces and then I wanted to show you guys a couple of items from Ross quickly so I've picked up these totes they sell these for 99 cents at Ross and they're rather large and they're pretty durable I thought this one was way too cute to pass up for 99 cents it's got the lipsticks on one side and then it's got the sunglasses I kind of wish it didn't say Ross but it's still super cute for a buck. I have another one that has like high heels on it. I have a couple different ones that I've bought over time. Here's the second one. I haven't used this one yet. And there's the price tag that says 99 cents. They also had a couple other ones that you could choose from this time. I also purchased my friend Darlene a really nice wine glass. And it said happy 50th birthday. And it had like... Um, hand painting all over it and I was going to haul it but I already gave it to her so I posted it on my Instagram which is breakup to make up one if you'd like to go look at the wine glass. The wine glass was $4.99 and they had a couple different wine glasses for your birthday. I also picked up this um, pack of mugs and you guys know I picked up a couple of these um, his and her mug sets from Ross. I have the one that says, um, I think it says like Mama Sita, and one says Poppy, and then one says um, something about Mr. Right and then Mrs. Always Right, and then a his and hers. I don't remember you guys, but this one I really liked because it's got the white and gold, and then it's got the gold lip print. This one says Hot Mama, and then this one says Big Daddy, and it's got the mustache. Super appropriate for me and Jordan, super cute, and I think these would always make super cute Christmas gifts for like his and hers, and this was $5.99. They're usually always that price for the his and hers. They also had another set. I took a picture of it. I don't know if I've posted it on my Instagram yet, but it said something Tokyo Poppy. I don't know what it said, and then the other one said something Mommy. I don't remember, but um, that's everything that I have for this particular video. I also have a 99 cent only store haul that I need to film. I'm not sure if I'm going to film that right now, but if I don't film it right now, I will definitely film it in the morning. I have some really pretty Marilyn Monroe pictures to show you guys. They're really large, and I got them at a great price. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe, stick around, watch more of my videos. Feel free to leave a comment. Also, go over and check out my Instagram, Breakup to Make Up One. I do have to approve you, so give me a little bit of time for that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.